Today we are going to look at one of the best looking RGB keyboards in the market by Asus which also has some really smart design choices and functionality that would appeal to gamers and professionals alike. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and this is ROG Strix Flare Review. The overall design of this keyboard is really great. In spite of some aggressive elements that ROG is known for, it manages to look very clean and modern and even minimalistic in some ways. The keyboard is made completely out of plastic, but it is built really well. There is almost no flex in the chassis and the overall fit and finish is also perfect. While it doesn't have a floating keycap design, the base of the keycaps is not covered so you will get to see the beautiful lighting which is a great design choice. Even at its underside, there is plenty of attention to detail and you have these well-fitting textures and a big ROG logo along with 5 rubber feet that will keep the keyboard in its place. The feet that fold out also have an interesting design and they let you tilt the keyboard to an angle of your preference. The keycaps have the ROG font on them. It does go well with the aesthetics of this keyboard and because it's bolder than fonts on other keyboards, it also lets a lot of light pass through making the RGB look great. The overly thick braided cable ends with two USB cables because this keyboard has a USB 2.0 pass through which you can use to plug in your mice or other peripherals. The wrist rest supplied is completely plastic but it feels great to use. The texture on it feels nice and it is designed very well so it lifts your hands up a bit when you rest them on it which makes typing comfortable. You have this plastic piece at the corner which is removable and you can customize this by using your own logo or name on a separate piece of plastic provided in the box. But the ROG logo also looks pretty nice and the illumination looks very cool. The volume wheel placement is one of my favorite things on this keyboard. When I am using my PC, my left hand is on the washed keys and the right hand is using the mouse. So if I need to change the volume on a keyboard with volume wheel on right, I need to lift my hand from mouse which interrupts my flow. So having this on the left side makes a big difference in convenience for me. And the rubber surfaced wheel is also very wide, so it feels easy and comfortable to use. You also have the mute button integrated into the volume wheel, which is a really smart idea, but it's kind of hard to press and can roll if not pressed at a 90 degree angle. Right next to it is the windows lock key. And then you have the brightness control key, which lets you switch between five levels of brightness, including turning the LEDs off. And then you have your media controls, and I would have preferred these keys being RGB2 instead of white, but they might have decided that this was better for visibility. The lighting on this keyboard is just phenomenal. You also have a white base under the keys, and it really reflects a lot of light and makes it very bright. You also have these really awesome and bright light strips on the sides that light up any surface that you put this keyboard on. It is very well integrated with the lighting. Even when you have the reactive effects on the side keys, the light bars also react to the key presses and it's just not for show. Because the side strips act like light strips added at back of a TV, so it makes the bright RGB LEDs easier on the eyes. ROG Armory offers a lot of customization for the lighting. You can really do most of the things that you can think of. You have some really cool effects and you can even customize the wave effects with the customized gradients of your choice of colors, which makes those effects so much more pleasing than full on RGB. And in addition to that, you can also use ASUS Aura to control the lighting and use its effects, which are just too many to cover in this video. I never keep any animated effects on my keyboards but I have a favorite gradient cycle effect for my PC and I can use that on this keyboard with a single click which is just so cool. You can of course sync the keyboard with your ASUS motherboard if you have one and I really have to appreciate Aura software for being able to handle so many components from different brands so perfectly. And you can even control the colors of light directly and learn how RGB actually works to create different colors. You of course have custom key assignment and macro recording support in the software. But another really great feature that this keyboard has is that it has on the fly macro recording, which makes it so much easier to use than fiddling around with any software. Even while playing a game, you can record a macro or reassign keys, which is incredible for gamers. 
You have five custom profiles on this keyboard along with the default profile which are saved on hardware level. So they will work even without the software if you want to use it on some other PC. The auto switching of profiles by linking them to a program works but it doesn't go back to the default profile after you exit the program which isn't ideal but that doesn't matter much because you can easily switch between different profiles using the function button with the number keys. And 5 profiles is just the right number to make this keyboard great for gaming and productivity. You also have support for repeat acceleration. So if you activate that and hold down a key, it can be registered up to 8 times faster for games which require you to press keys rapidly. You can also use it to spam the chat box and annoy the hell out of people you are playing with. This keyboard is available with a variety of Cherry MX switches. So you can get the one that you like the most. I got cherry red switches as that is what I prefer. Now because this doesn't have a metal plate, I assume that the typing experience or stability may not be as nice as a keyboard with a metal construction. But I was wrong. It offers a really solid experience for both typing and gaming and delivers to what you would expect from a flagship keyboard. Even though this isn't the top level keyboard in the ROG lineup. The keycaps have a really balanced curvature and are a little smooth at the corners so it feels very comfortable to type on. It is of course also going to be great for gaming with the added macro and profile features making the experience even better. So overall. This is easily one of the best keyboards on the market. The software is full of features and customizability and the quick profile switching and on the fly macro recording also makes it really great for gaming and productivity. And I also really like the design decisions with the keyboard layout. The only downside that I can think of is that we don't have a metallic construction here which the competition has and that does make this keyboard seem a little less premium. But the build quality and finish is as good as it could be with plastic and it really doesn't affect the typing experience or usability or feeling of premiumness in any way. So at the price of 13,000 rupees or 180 US dollars, this is in line with the flagship keyboard offerings from the competition and I think that it is a great choice so I strongly recommend this. And I'll have my affiliate links in the video description below if you want to buy this or check prices. So that was it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this keyboard in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you disliked it. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button with notification bell icon for more videos like this. I have another awesome keyboard review coming up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.